Right now, downtown Gretna is covered in food booths, music stages, and tons of amusement rides, all for a great weekend as they're kicking off Gretna Fest. The fest is celebrating 30 years with a new experience this year. You see it right there, a Ferris wheel. Benefits made from the festival will go toward local nonprofits, with most of the food booths being owned by nonprofit organizations. Gretna Mayor Belinda Constance says this weekend will showcase the city's diversity. Get this, you can eat around the world by visiting the Asian, Italian, and German villages. And this year, there is a Margarita Village. You know, we love to make people feel like we want you here. That's been my motto since I was elected in 2005, um, that it's all about Gretna and it's all about the people. And we want everybody to know we want you here. We want you to come live here, play here, and just enjoy what we have. So here's a reminder, you will need a wristband to get in. So make sure that you use that wristband for all purchases because this fest is cashless. Well, we know this is a popular festival, so big crowds are expected. WDSU traffic anchor Brandy B. Harris has a look at road closures and some tips to help you navigate your way to Gretna Fest. We're getting you ready for a very special weekend on the West Bank. It's Gretna Fest. Now, I've got a map here to show you exactly where everything's going to be between Lafayette and Durbany, between 1st and 5th Street. And here at 1st Street, you see that ferry because you've got a very special transportation situation going on for you this weekend. I talked to Gretna Fest organizers who say if you are coming in from the East Bank, your best bet is to take the Canal Street Ferry. It'll actually drop you off right at the festival gates. Just $2 one way, $4 for round trip. The last ferry leaves 30 minutes after the fest closes each day. Now you have a few different parking options available to you all with free shuttle service. First, Oakwood Mall behind JC Penney. Also, JP Public Schools on Manhattan Boulevard and there's also a handicap accessible lot and shuttle at the Rupal Academy. Now if you need to see that information again or if you'd like to share it with your family and friends, no worries. We've got it posted on WDSU.com. All right.